Hey guys, this is Karan Brani from Mobi Scrub and this video we're gonna compare the Galaxy S4 with the S4 Mini. So the S4 Mini is nothing but the younger brother uh, to the S4. So if you, you know, basically overlay uh, the S4 Mini on the S4, you'd see that they look and feel the same except for a considerable difference in the, uh, in the, in the display size. And well, of course, there's a difference in performance as well, and we'll talk about this later. In terms of technical specifications, uh, the S4 has the Exynos 5, the octa-core processor, whereas the S4 Mini is running a dual-core 1.7 gigahertz uh, processor. Uh, the S4 has 2 GB of RAM, whereas the Mini has 1.5 GB. The display of S4 is 5 inches, whereas the S4 Mini is at 4.3 inches. And you've obviously got a lower resolution on the S4 Mini, which is just 540 by 960 pixels. The S4 has a 13 megapixel camera as against the S4 Mini, which has uh, 8 megapixel camera. The S4 is uh, 1 millimeters thinner than the S4 Mini. So the S4 Mini is 8.9 millimeters and the S4 is 7.9 millimeters. Now, obviously S4 Mini weighs lesser because it's, it's just 107 grams, it's tinier, but the S4 Mini gives you the uh, advantage of being used by a single hand very easily. Whereas on the S4, I really have to, you know, I have to travel a lot. <laughs> and the S4 Mini you can just easily uh, use with a single hand. In terms of display, the Galaxy S4 has a 5-inch Super AMOLED screen, whereas the S4 Mini has a 4.3-inch Super AMOLED screen. The Galaxy S4 has a 1080-pixel by 1920-pixel full HD resolution, whereas the Galaxy S4 Mini has 540 by 960 pixels. Now, the Galaxy S4 has a 13-megapixel camera, whereas the S4 Mini um, has got a 8-megapixel camera. Both of them have got a plastic uh, rear panel with polycarbonate glaze on top. Now, you know, as you've seen in the S4, there's a diamond pattern um, in the rear panel and the S4 Mini has got the same. So uh, there's almost no difference except you've got a small duos uh, written on the S4 Mini. Anyway, moving forward, uh, the Galaxy S4 is, is, is a single SIM card uh, device, whereas the S4 Mini that I have is a dual SIM device and you've both both of them have a micro sd card slot uh, with 64 gb expandable storage let's take a tour around the devices on the left edge both of them have got the volume rockers on the top ir led port to act as a tv remote and a 3.5 mm headphone jack uh, moving forward in the bottom you've got usb 2.0 data syncing and charging port and on the right edge both of them have got their power and lock keys so let's talk about the user interface. Both of them are running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, which is almost the latest because 4.3 is out and hopefully both of them would get the same soon. They both are running the same version of uh, Samsung's very own TouchWiz Nature UX. So they're very similar in terms of the preloaded applications, performance, uh, screen transitions, animations. Uh, you know, all of them are pretty much there. So you've got the same settings, uh, sorry, the notification tray. And then if you go inside settings or uh, there you go, settings. So it's the same layout, four categories, and that's that. Now, in terms of quick setting toggles, obviously the S4 has a host of features that the S4 Mini does not. For example, multi-window, um, smart scroll, smart, smart pause, uh, air view, air gesture, NFC, S beam. So all of these things are there in the S4, but not in the S4 Mini, and hence the price difference. And well, of course, that's why it's called Mini. In terms of display, as you can see, both of them are absolutely crisp. Colors are great, they're super AMOLED screens, there's no difference in such, uh, as such. Uh, in terms of color reproduction and viewing angles, both of, both of these devices uh, perform really well uh, and there's no considerable difference as such. So there you go, color reproduction, both of them, uh, you know, to your regular eye, you really can't make out the difference. In terms of performance, clearly the S4 has a much higher score uh, as compared to the S4 Mini, and primarily this is because of the processor. The S4 has an octa-core uh, Exynos 5 processor, whereas the S4 Mini is running off a 1.7 gigahertz dual-core processor. Now, since the Galaxy S4 has a larger screen, so obviously uh, reading content, browsing web, uh, watching movies, or even looking at photographs, any other video, uh, it's going to be a lot more richer on the Galaxy S4. Now, just to highlight the things that the Galaxy S4 has and why you would want to pay more for it is because A, it has NFC and S Beam, which are just uh, faster ways of transferring data. There's an LED indicator on the S4, which the S4 Mini does not have. Uh, and then you've got Air Gesture, 
uh, which the S4 Mini does not have. So you can pretty much, uh, you know, hover your hand and control the device uh, to change tracks, to change images, and so on. Then you've got Smart Pause and Smart Scroll, which are again absent in the S4 Mini. And uh, Air View, obviously, you can just preview content without touching those things. And, you know, previews just pop up. Again, missing in the S4 Mini. Now, in terms of the camera UI, you've got these really nice uh, color effects, such as tint, vintage, uh, cartoon. Whereas on the S4 Mini, they're just the old ones that you've seen in the S3 or in the Galaxy Note 2. So that's, that's a disappointment. In terms of performance of the camera apps, uh, both of them are fairly quick. Uh, you know, both of them take pictures really quickly, very snappy uh, shutter. So there's no shutter lag in both. And obviously, both of them have got the same uh, settings, except the S4 has uh, a host of modes that the S4 Mini does not. For example, Drama Shot and uh, Eraser. Uh, you know, these are just missing on the S4 Mini. And obviously, well, multi-window. Uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be there on the S4 Mini simply because it's a 4.3-inch screen. I don't know if it makes difference uh, or if it even makes sense to have uh, multi-window on a small screen phone. Besides, I don't even use it that much. So that's it, guys. The differences between the Galaxy S4 and the S4 Mini. The price difference is definitely worth it. The S4 comes with a lot of more features that the S4 Mini does not. But for a regular user who is not a power user or who just needs the phone for media consumption, a little bit of gaming, reading content, taking pictures, I think the S4 Mini is just enough. So thank you a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know your thoughts on this video. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe.